What's up, guys? Um, obviously, if I'm here by myself at the beginning of an episode, you know that something went wrong. And unfortunately, it uh, did. Um, we were all getting ready to record the episode, and uh, before that, I was down here hooking everything up, and uh, I tripped over a bunch of our cords that we have here, and I uh, didn't think anything of it. It didn't seem like it messed anything up. We go outside, we're talking for a half hour, come down to record the episode, and we've got no audio out of mic, and whenever we play it back, whatever we recorded, it was super messed up. So, uh, I am in full panic mode. Obviously, these guys take time out of their day to make an episode, and uh, I can't get it to work. I end up going to Best Buy, buying a bunch of parts, come back, plug all of the new parts in, and it still is messed up. So, um, at that point, we tell JP and Mike and say, hey, I got to fix this. Let's pick a different day to do it and uh, hopefully be able to produce an episode for you guys. Well, as they were legitimately walking out the door, um, I'm down here messing with it still. And it sounds to me like it started working. And uh, so I run upstairs, tell them all to come back downstairs. And I'm like, hey, it's working. So we decide we're going to do an episode. And it turns out um, the audio for my microphone sounds like absolute and total shit. Um, J, or JP and Mike's mics, they sound fine, but, um, you know, I, I always work really hard to put out a good product for you guys. And so it just bugs the hell out of me. And I know some of you may not even freaking notice it, but I do. And the last thing that I want is for you guys to think that I was just lazy or something happened and I didn't want to, to fix it. Um, but the good news is it was a fantastic episode. We had a lot of fun. Um, and it was right before JP actually had to leave after we got done to go to the uh, comedy contest immediately following the episode, uh, which I'm not going to tell you who won or anything like that because the fun part is they recorded that thing. And so whenever it's up on whatever social media it is, we'll be sure to let you know um, because it has, you know, sets from JP, Derek and Steve. Uh, which I think is freaking awesome. I had a great time. I want to say thank you, uh, all of you guys that came up to all of us. Um, and, you know, I think we even signed a, an electronic yodeling pickle. I thought that was fucking funny. Um, but just everybody who was there to support the guys, that's really awesome. We had a lot of people come up and say, you know, they love the show. And that means a lot to us. So we really do care. It really sucks that the audio in this one is not to my perfection mind, whatever. Um, but I would, I know that you guys would much rather us put out an episode than not put out one at all. So that's what we did. And some of you probably won't even freaking notice. So it's not that big of a deal. It still meets at least the requirements that I have to at least post an episode. And it's a great one. So I hope you guys really Really enjoy it. Um, thank you guys for being great. If you aren't already yet, please stop and subscribe. Click the like button and take two minutes out of your time to leave a comment. In fact, ask a, ask a question on there, especially for me because I'm the only one who really looks at that shit. But if you have a question, leave it in the YouTube comments. I'll go in and I'll, I'll look at all of them. I'll at least make, you know, let you know I saw it. Um, but if I got a response, I'll obviously respond. But guys, thank you guys so very much. Enjoy this episode. I really did. And now you can know, hey, all of the equipment's fixed. So it's sounding great. Uh, but thank you guys so much. We will see you next week. Enjoy the episode. The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. In the walkway, a poop. <laughs> <laughs> the womb nuke. Uh, the picture I do of me naked. <laughs> I'll tell you a picture of me naked. You'll love it. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuck, sticking alongside me. I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the best DEI hire of all time. Please welcome back Mr. JP. (laughs) 
Oh, uh, yeah, that's good. All right. That's and also stuff. another very funny stand-up comedian who actually travels, unlike most of the other guys. Please welcome back Mr. Why Mike Why do you always have to Baldwin. say that, man? I don't appreciate that uh, <laughs> when you say that. I don't have music or anything? Yeah, I mean, no, nope. yeah. Forget it. Yeah, we can do that's that. That's Steve's music. That's Steve's. so <laughs> sad. Is that the the Incredible Hulk walking away music? Nah, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's bum, already been bum, a hell of a morning. Bum, bum, so if this episode sounds like shit, I'm sorry. But uh, in all seriousness, uh, we have a great episode for you this week. Yeah. Yeah. Don't lie to the people. I mean, we do. <laughs> we do. It it's going to be it's fast, I'm guessing. Um, but yeah, if this is the very first time you've ever listened to the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast, this is a comedy podcast. We like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and very inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. This is also an adult cop podcast where we like to make foul or sorry, make inappropriate jokes and offend people who have very thin skin. So if you don't like that, you're in the wrong place. Get That's the fuck foul, out of here. I would say. Yeah, it is foul. I think foul is a good word for it that. It is foul. Uh, but as always, we have hot topics. Hot topics. Uh, we have never have I ever. That's where I draw the line. Questions in Perguntas, a draft, and as always, a shitty situation. But we're going to kick this episode like uh, off like we always do, which is talk about what happened to us over the last week. We call it our week, week recap, and we always kick this off with JP because there ain't shit he did. He danced. That's did you I dance? To this song over to this and, song and over, over and over. Just that yeah. over. Just five that second song clip over of over. music. Yeah, uh, yeah. That, that reminds me of a like a Black Mirror torture or something. Just sure. having to hear that five Over, seconds yeah. Con- yeah. consistently, yeah, for yeah. a million years. Yeah, I don't remember what I did. There's been a lot going on today. <laughs> Could you turn my? Can you turn me up? Yeah, can. turn up. The I don't cans. even know. I don't even know which one you are. Is that uh, you? Uh, that's better. Yeah, okay, that okay. was me. Sorry. Anyway, we had um, some technical difficulties today. We had technical yeah. difficulties. Oh, We're starting. My God, late. Scotty fucking tripped over the cords. Fucking Scotty. Yeah. You know? And I did. Uh, here, what what time do we get here? Uh, well, you I got, got here, here at one. He got here at the time he was supposed to be uh, at one. I was late. We then proceeded oh. to, to chat and for like a half hour, then come downstairs, get ready to start recording. It's 11 minutes tops. Yeah, come on, man. And, half uh, hour. And I noticed that the audio was shit. And so. I had to run to Best Buy and buy a whole bunch of stuff. Which may or may not have been the problem or the solution. Correct. <laughs> but because even after he got those things and we plugged it all in, it still didn't work. And then me and JP <laughs> we were, were almost out of here. We were feet from our cars. <laughs> they were. <laughs> and Scotty ran out and goes, it's working. <laughs> we were very disappointed. <laughs> and so now I even said on the porch, I was like, man, it feels like I got off work early or yeah. something. And then the boss came and was like, no, nope, nope, I know. just kidding. You guys got to clean these pallets or whatever bad, people yeah. do at jobs. Uh, but, <laughs> yeah, that is probably the most eventful thing that's happened to you over the last week, Jake. It kind of is, I think. <laughs> I think something did happen to me, but I can't. Yeah. I had a birthday. Yeah, you oh, did. Yeah. Yeah. Happy yeah. birthday. Happy that was birthday. What day is your birthday? August 14th. Right. Mine's the 7th. Yeah. Happy oh, birthday to thanks, both man. of us. Both of yeah. you guys, happy birthday. How old did you turn, JP? Dude, that's a <laughs> dumb fucking question. <laughs> You Are know you? I'm 30. Right. <laughs> Are you older than me? Oh, by a stretch. I'm 43 now. He's 47. No. Are you not? 46. I thought you are exactly 10 years older than me. I'm 48. Oh, whoops. Ah. You're 11 years older than me. Yeah. <laughs> so I you thought were, you were born in 76. You were five 77. when I was born. Got it. You knew you were gay before I was born. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh definitely. No wow. doubt about it. Interesting. Yeah. Am I 37? I'm not sure. Because you turned 48? Yeah. I'm 36, and I was born in 87, and I'm getting ready to turn 37. Maybe I'm only 47. Fuck, I don't Yeah, know. you lost a year. Yeah, that's. I like that. You, yeah. Hey, I got you one. Is that true? Yes. Fuck Sweet. me. Yes, you, you, you turned You gained a year. You just gained a year, everybody. Nice. Math. Man, you're so The young. year of JP. Jesus Christ. That's so awesome. I'm so happy I could give you another year. That, in fact, that is your birthday present from me. Thank you, man. <laughs> yeah, you're it's, welcome. It's way more than I thought I was going to get. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's, I don't know. I don't know what I did, to yeah. be honest with you. Okay, well. You probably did, did some bowling, some video yeah. gaming. Bowling starts again on Monday. I have, I've uh, been off bowling for about three weeks now. Yeah. Oh, wow. There was a fan, and I'm sorry, I didn't write that question down, but they wanted to know what which uses a strike ball and which uses a spare ball. Well, I've got like fucking. He's got 30 balls. Yeah. I've got like 30 of them. <laughs> you should <laughs> see like a ridiculous. doctor about that. Yeah, you really should. You're they only, just keep multiplying. You're only right. supposed to have three tops. Yeah, I saw that question too. Yeah. And I was just like, 
You, but I'm pretty I mean, sure it's a right storm now, ball. Oh well, yeah, it's definitely storm yeah. in the storm family. Storm rotor grip. Somebody like asked a good question global. that I don't remember either, but I remember thinking, "Oh yeah, that was a good one." Yeah, hold on, I'm gonna find well, it. You find it because you guys are. Talking. I'm gonna say this. Um, we actually kind of have to do a little bit faster of an episode today. In order for us not to be late to the comedy show that JP is performing in. Yes. First so, time I've been on stage in like five years, really, dude. And, and, honestly. And when this episode comes out, you would have already done it. Yeah. By, and, and won. And won. By a landslide. What a good job, by the way. Thank it was you. It's fucking phenomenal. Uh, you know, it's not just drafts that I can win. There I was can a also win comedy contest. Yeah, there was a standing ovation, and everybody had their mouths wide open, and li- just in signification waiting on, on you. Cocks. Yeah, Correct. yeah, just waiting on my cock. That's right. <laughs> you fucking come shove it in their throat. That Derek, would be a- Derek got dead last. You will. In <laughs> fact, he was <laughs> booed fair. off stage. And to be fair, he he did fucking. That was that inappropriate. Foot. Yeah, he did lose, lose that and foot. I guess that was the funny part of his body. <laughs> <laughs> he hobbled off stage. It was not good. It was not good. Did you hear about that, Mike? No. Uh, Derek, unfortunately, has succumbed to uh, diabetes, so they had to cut off his, his right foot. Is that really true? No. no. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I just posted a joke about that in the last week or so. <laughs> I said... Uh, it's a prediction. I was like, uh, if you're missing a, a leg, it could equally be from a roadside bomb in Iraq or because you've yeah. eaten like shit for the last 30 years. <laughs> I saw that joke. I'm like, hey, thank you for your service. And the guy's like, huh? <laughs> I just diabetes. Yeah. Um, but anyways, uh, so if that's JP's week, how about you, Mike? How is, uh, how you haven't been on the show for probably four or five weeks because you've been on the road, haven't you? Yeah, I've done some stuff. I went to uh, Wisconsin, did a show there for a high school reunion. Ooh, that's fun. I didn't know that that's what it was. I just knew I was booked at a venue, but we got there and they were like, there's 50 people here from a high school reunion. And oh, wow. So it was equally like, all right, guys, quiet down. <laughs> and like we had a good time, but. Uh, I went to Indianapolis again. I go there every few months. I'm going back there again the first week of November. I'll be in Dallas, Texas the first weekend in September at Hyenas. Damn. And, uh, yeah, I I booked a New Year's Eve gig uh, in San Rafael, California. Jesus. at At a big theater there, so that'll be fun. Um, Where the hell is San Rafael, California? Near San Francisco. Okay, so NoCal. Uh, n- yes. Okay. North California. Okay. All right. As we call it in regular, <laughs> regular <Kansas>. people talk. <laughs> Never not in Hollyweird. You're not going to Hollyweird when you're going there. No, I would Damn. like to. That's what I because t- the guys flying me out, and I was like, what I'd prefer really is to get booked in like Utah and Denver and stuff like that, nice. like the weeks leading up to it, so I can just make a long drive out of it. But hmm. I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, anyway, so, something tells me it's not. So what have I done? Uh, I made several uh, ground beef meals. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I did chili. I did spaghetti. Um, I made wow. a, a meatloaf. Wait, 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 wait. Not wait. all at the same time. Hold on. Hold the phone. You <laughs> mean to tell me you use ground <coughs> beef whenever you're making spaghetti? Yes. Haven't you heard of Italian sausage dog? Uh, sometimes I'll, I'll, I love Italian sausage. I'll pork it up. (laughs) One of my favorite sausages. I'm sure it is. Was that a man reference? (laughs) Correct. I understand. (laughs) Yeah. What did, uh, what did, uh, Elena say uh, on the porch about, oh, you did, uh, or you played Mexican train. Oh yeah, we did. I played that too Thursday <laughs> night. <laughs> but what love me some Mexican train. I was the engine. Oh, were you? Oh, um, yeah. So Good everybody was behind you. Yeah. So really, you were only enjoying one person. We all rotated. But you always, you but could I do always it. stayed as the Stay engine. As the how engine. Yeah. how many dudes would you need to to complete a circle? <laughs> Could you That's do a it? Good question. You couldn't That's do it with question. three. No, a, gonna, or probably oh, even four. You're talking more, like ten, I, fifteen. No, I think five is the minimum because you could at, at like you'd have to I be at know. that sideways angle. If you had five dudes whose dicks curve to the left, right. you could easily. <laughs> so that's do the thing. A you're gonna have to find the right dick. It's more about finding the right dicks because they got to be big enough to make the cha- the, the turn. Uh huh. But they've you know having them curved all one way would definitely be. Yeah. The one guy who curved to the right would have to do a a handstand. (laughs) Jesus Christ. (laughs) To make the circle complete. We're going to figure this out, folks, and we'll let you know the answer. (laughs) 
<laughs> so yes, I do use ground beef for most things. Um, I have started going instead of the regular grocery store. I've been going to the meat store the last couple of times. It's a few dollars more expensive, but I feel like it's better for me. I feel better since I've started doing it. Good. So, oh, what other questions do you guys have? Actually, actually um, there was a um, there actually was a, a listener that had a question for both of you two. Is this the chili thing? No, it's okay. definitely not the chili. thing. I want to talk about that, but we, we'll do your thing first. Well, the, the this comes in from Jacob Paul Hazen, uh, another serial killer. There, mm -hmm. uh, he wants to know as someone who's looking to get into the occasional stand up comedy, what's some key don'ts I need to keep in mind? Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> If you, if you advice never, over, I'll That's give it. you the same advice I give to everybody who asks me this. If you've never done it before, sign up for an open mic, write th three minutes of what you think is funny. Don't tell any of your friends that you're going and just go and do it in front of strangers. That is a good point to not tell your friends you're doing it. If you invite your friends, they're either going to purposely be shitty to you, right? Or they're going to give you false hope. They're going to laugh when it's not really that funny. Yeah. And you're going to be like, all right, man, I'm pretty good at this. <laughs> and then you'll go in front of an audience of strangers and you'll eat a dick because <laughs> it turns out you're not funny. You I've know? also done that before. <laughs> Your friends were just lying to you. <laughs> Willingly. You oh, had. Yeah. oh, yeah. So, yeah, just uh, comedy is taking the things that you talk about with your friends that you all laugh at, saying it on stage without having to end the story with, I don't know, you just had to be there. It was yeah. really funny uh and i've got a don't don't do street jokes like don't steal yeah. other people's shit either right and you can't do like i call them joke book jokes they're like jokes that you would find on the internet or something like yeah. that like, that's not what stand-up comedy is stand-up right. comedy is personal you're talking about yourself or the world and and it's all original yeah what about uh what about like some like stage rules like i've always heard don't wear a hat or don't uh or wear, wear your hat for if, it or don't wear shorts don't wear flip-flops yeah don't wear shorts or flip-flops it'll draw people's attention away from your face and you want people looking at your face um, such a pretty face speak for yourself don't <laughs> that's why i always hang my dick out every time i do stand up nobody looks me in the eyes nobody sees me <laughs> don't play with the mic cord if you're taking the mic out of the stand a lot of comics will nervously play with the microphone cord try not to do that um if you do take the mic out of the stand put the mic stand behind you the last thing you want is an empty mic stand <laughs> blocking the audience's view of you yeah um I don't know. a lot of people take the mic stand off stage like they'll walk it the fuck over there and never put seen it them in. do that yeah. before. I've never seen it off the stage, but I mean, yeah, I'll take it and put me. it behind yeah. where I'm standing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't want if you're. I've never seen anyone take it off stage. Rogan Where'd you see that at Rogan. Did. Oh, oh. Fuck. speaking of which, yeah. had his comedy special over the weekend. Yeah, yeah. it had a few things it, in it that it had I some good zingers in there. It was like his uh, all of his comedy specials are the same. Where I'm like, yeah, I mean, it's kind of easy, low low fruit kind of jokes, but. He'll make a few valid points in there and, and just make me think about things. Yeah. I still, to this day, think about uh, on his first album, he taps the microphone and he's like, why is this loud? Does anybody know? <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. I don't have a fucking clue. <laughs> right. He's like, if all the power went out, like we wouldn't be able to rebuild anything. Yeah. We would just sit there and wait <laughs> for somebody to fix it. Right. He's like, trigonometry? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you get a pointy stick and you stab the monster. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, the, he's just one of the ones that uh, I uh, I like a lot. I like to watch oh. a lot. Um, and, but another question for Mike, or what, what, do you, what you got? Uh, guess who came in to eat at the restaurant yesterday? I'm so scared right John now. Candy. Chris D'Elia. Really? Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yeah, he was in town. <laughs> That's funny. Was he nice? Yeah, I mean... Did he have a, he, a he date looked, with him? Did he have a young girl with him? No, but he did leave a $10 tip and the phone number of a, of a 17-year-old girl. Oh, good. So that <laughs> was right. really nice. Oh, uh, that's no, awesome. I mean, he was really... You could tell whatever, you know, that uh, this shit has taken a toll. I'm yeah. sure. Like, oh, I would imagine oh, so. He sat there and, like, you could tell he was physically and mentally like please god don't let anybody recognize me. you know what i mean uh -huh. he showed god. up in like shit you would see downtown a bum wearing like yeeks shitty shorts a fucking t-shirt some fuck it i mean just he looked like he looked like shit that sucks but 
I feel like he did that on purpose because he's like because people would be like, please, dear is that God, Chris D'Elia? Right. No, look please how shitty God, he's dressed. Please, dear God, don't look at me. Chris D'Elia would dress better than that. Right. Well, I that's cool. I wonder how many uh, people bought tickets to his show, and I wonder how the show was. Yeah, yeah. I Ugh. had a buddy that went, but yeah, yeah. I definitely I, I saw a lot of hate on it, but yeah. uh, also like once you get into the heart of the show mm -hmm. if you allow yourself to forget that he's a child molester yeah <laughs> kind of does that's something you, you kind know he's of forget. a great actor kevin spacey <laughs> <laughs> i mean the the first few seasons of uh yeah what was it called uh something about being president i can't yeah remember the president was. show uh, i never watched it it was great it was really it was phenomenal. great yeah, yeah that that was my first actually my first Bill Cosby was the first time that I went, wait, so I can't watch that show anymore? And then Speaking Roseanne of, was the second one. And then Kevin Spacey was the third one. Kevin Spacey might have been before Roseanne. Kevin Spacey broke my heart, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I, well, hurt. and his were like, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. funny that we use the same words to describe. They're not the same. Kevin Spacey and Chris D'Elia. <laughs> Chris D'Elia is like, you're going to be 18 soon, right? That's cool. <laughs> so and Kevin Spacey's God. like, hello, I'll pick you up from sixth grade and put you in the pictures. <laughs> oh, geez. You can be in the movie films. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, but no, there was another fan. House of Cards. That House was House of, of Cards. Cards. Yeah, that's right. Uh, there was another fan, Mike. Or there was actually several. Is this the chili thing? Nope. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I think we really need to get to this chili no, thing. No, no. We'll Mike's wait. freaking no, out. Several that you know said he's what? a ground beef guy. Oh, yeah. So several, several listeners, right up his alley. several listeners mentioned uh, t for us to check the current status of your toenails. Oh, they're, how are they doing? They're fine. Okay. When's the last time you When's cut the them? Last time you cut them? Oh, uh, let me check their fucking phone. He's <laughs> the only individual I know that's like, hey, I'm gonna cut my toenails and then I'm gonna put it on my calendar on my phone. It's not the calendar; it's the hindsight app. It's been Whatever. thirty thirty two days and thirteen hours. <laughs> oh, God. It's been a month. So what? They don't grow that fast. <laughs> No, okay, here's what I find disturbing. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I did my fingernails today, as a matter of fact. Well, you better I put, put that, that in there. That oh, my that God. In. God what the fuck? Uh, the thing I found disturbing is that you said it's only been 32 days. It's only <laughs> it's been. It's only been. Well, I mean, my days. record is. I can go for another 30, no problem. <laughs> no, I'll probably do it in the uh, summertime. I do it a little more often Dude, because I, I say we do. A, I say we go for the record. But what's the record? <laughs> what's the record? 90. Oh, oh my, my God. God. But I still, I'm still convinced that I just forgot to. Do, so I would say the record is 45, probably. Because <clears throat> there was God. probably a halfway oh. point in there where I did it and i just forgot to put it in <laughs> jp's over there sucking on mike's toes <laughs> oh my god no i don't want to cut my tongue <laughs> that hurts oh my Scrape god my gums up like when you're eating like uh, captain crunch you know it fucks up oh your gums. god oh lord oh, yeah no they're so fine. funny don't worry everybody good all right what's your fucking chili bullshit well somebody asked about uh uh cinnamon rolls and chili oh yeah i did see that um we've talked about that before we have yeah they just said uh what did he say exactly way to go mike i've often heard uh jp often uh mentions cinnamon rolls and chili i'm from virginia and i've never heard of that so do you put the chili on the cinnamon roll or do you eat them separately here's how it started <coughs> for me oh and that was in grade school <coughs> at, at lunch for whatever reason they would give us a cinnamon. We would have a bowl of chili. They would give us a stick of cheese and then a, a cinnamon roll. Right. And so that just led to me picking apart the cinnamon roll, putting it in the chili, and eating them together. Right. But today, as an adult, I'll make a pan of cinnamon rolls. I'll put a cinnamon roll in the bottom of the bowl, and then I'll just cover the whole fucking what? thing in chili. And then I just cut it like I'm eating biscuits and gravy or something. All right. I've been, I, I'm a Kansan. I've lived here my entire life. And I think you people who do that are fucking weird. It's it's the because people do savory it. and sweet mixed together. It's I, like trail yeah, mix. I know or something. it's wrong and and it's good. It's, it's wrong still, but I've seen people do it. Like I've heard people do it that way, and then I've heard people that take the cinnamon roll apart into like almost like almost like breadsticks and just dip it into the chili. Uh huh. I've heard of that more than 
fucking crazy mic down here. Yeah, well, but, it, it but you people are weird. It no. started with dipping, and then I was like, "Why am I stickying up my hand for no. this? Right. Why no. I, I'm going to just eat it all with a spoon." So my favorite way to eat chili is Cincinnati chili, <laughs> which is with noodles. It's yeah, spaghetti, oh. noodles, oh. or any noodles really. But I use spaghetti noodles. Okay, and then cheddar cheese, sour cream. Diced onions, whatever you want on top. But okay. oh fuck. Uh I would just stick good. with the spaghetti. That's that's, that's good. I don't do the I don't do mm. the cinnamon roll bullshit. I, I put sour cream on my spaghetti too. Is that weird? What the fuck is wrong with you people? God I, damn I had, it. I had a friend who used to put ranch on his spaghetti. This yeah. is and I always thought that was weird. I I do put sour cream on my spaghetti. What the fuck is going on here? People uh, I always think of food and music the same way because people react the same way to that kind of stuff. Yeah. And they're just like, what? It's good. And you're like, <laughs> the I Beatles, for God's sake. How do you not like, like the Beatles? I'm sorry. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't. I, I really, really don't. Um, I had a, uh, I had an excellent week. Um, All right. Myself. Now let's get onto the show. No, I, uh, <laughs> well, we got, we got fantasy football coming right around the corner. Oh, yeah. So I've been really That's actually fun. preparing it. I normally wait a week and a half before I actually start diving into it. So I did. Only the coolest people play fantasy football. Goddamn right. I didn't know. If you so knew that, you have, right? uh, do you know what slots you're yes, in or whatever? Yes. I, that was what I was going to say. I am the 12th pick and I have been for the last four years. That's where you end up picking when you win it is last. And, and, over the years, I've Ugh. really enjoyed being that pick. Let me yeah. tell you, this year, I fucking don't. I don't like my what I'm probably going to get left with. But we'll see what happens. That's fantasy football. However, yeah. oh. Uh, oh, go ahead. Well, there's a lot of what often happens in fantasy football is the like top five guys that you just have to get. A lot of those don't always end up being. Oh, yeah. You're like, man, that was a that fucking rookie that was promising me yeah. a million points didn't do shit. Right. And that's kind of the name of the game and stuff like that. But I'm excited. You uh, guys all sit around and jerk off afterwards over your sheets and fucking. Yeah. 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 Okay. Every time. Well, then of I'm course. in. Of course. No, no. Like after the draft, then you stay at the bar, drink beer, and talk about how badass of a team you have. And, and you know. Oh, man, it's, that sounds so cool. It's so fun. It really is fun. It's, I don't. It is. I don't even do it. <laughs> It every year yeah but i've done it enough and it just makes you care you know yeah it keeps did, you in, engaged did anybody happen to see uh oh i can't think of the girl's name she played on uh the daredevil show and was in a few other things she was talking about dungeons and dragons uh -uh. In, in an interview the other day nope it was really cool because she was like uh she was interviewing or being interviewed by uh the guy that plays the punisher uh don't know I, you, you got superhero movies, dude. I'm I'm out. The Punisher and the TV on the Netflix show, and yeah. he also played uh, Shane in the first season of Walking Dead. Okay, cool. Do you still don't know? Nope. Anyway, so <laughs> that guy, they were talking about Dungeons and Dragons, and he was like, well, "I don't get like I've never done it. What is it?" And yeah. instead of like describing it and telling him what it is and how it works, she goes, "Okay." So let's say you're walking through a forest. You've got a sword on your back. You've got a dagger on your belt, whatever. Uh, you're walking. It's dark. You can barely see the moonlight or anything. And all of a sudden, you hear a sound uh -huh. off to your left. Like, what do you do? And, it, and he was like, well, if I draw my sword first, because you don't have a gun. Oh. You have a sword. My character yeah, has a gun. Yeah, you dumbass. My character has And then a gun. she says, and now you see uh, an owl bear creeping out of the light. It's like a body of a bear, the face of an owl, and... What the fuck? Where did we go and, here? And so then what do you do? And the guy's like, well, have I ever seen an owl bear before? And she goes, oh, that's a knowledge test. So, okay, so we'll roll the dice. And anyway, so she does this like two minute long thing where it she they basically just play Dungeons and Dragons off the top of their head. And it just makes me want to play it even more. It makes me definitely not want to play Dungeons and Dragons you, ever. I think we. Oh, you'd love Dungeons and Dragons. I guarantee you would. Why? Yeah. The way that you just a drew a nerd. fake gun and fired at the fucking yeah. owlbear yeah, out of nowhere. Yeah. That's the that's the whole thing of the game. Is like, all right, what do you do? Do you run? Do you fight? Do no, you fucking no. do research? I've seen the people that play Dungeons and Dragons. They seem like great, nice people. It's just that's not my crowd, man. No, you've seen the people that play Dungeons and Dragons and talk about it in public. That is correct. You haven't seen the the larger percentage of people who play Dungeons and Dragons who are like, yeah, I'm not going to talk about it because people will fucking make eye contact with each <laughs> other while I'm talking and make me <laughs> yeah. feel like a piece of shit. Yeah. Anyway, uh, anyway, go ahead. All right. Uh, moving on to the rest of my week. 
Uh, I did uh, get to actually go to an outdoor gun range. There's a there. I think there's a couple in Kansas. I I, uh, I actually went to one of the larger ones, and um, man, that's a, it's a pretty cool place they got out there. Uh, Is it? Are there places in Kansas where you can just go out to the wilderness and shoot without having to pay a guy? Absolutely, absolutely, there is. But um, this particular place, Twenty First and Grove. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, you can. Uh, but no, it's it's actually thirteenth and Oliver. <laughs> yeah, it's mainly geared for like long rifles. They have tactical competitions there oh. and stuff like well, that. Well, that's like Maple and Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's like real tactical. Yeah, they have like John Wick training uh-huh. kind of stuff. Oh yeah, have yeah. you done that? No, uh, we were going. We planned on actually going and shooting. I had everything. I w- I was I was geared up to fucking invade Poland kind of shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we get out there and it is like 110 degrees uh including the humidity and we were like fuck that because there's not a lot of trees not a lot of shade and so we were like yeah. ah, we'll probably just empty a couple mags of you know nine millimeter and then we'll go home every middle east veteran right now is like you pussy <laughs> yeah no shit uh, it's exactly the kind <laughs> of weather right. we were in you're right and we could have but it's just like eh, we'll, we'll come back probably we'll not that. humid there though but that's well you never know but i digress but um but we also the main reason why we wanted to do that is because we're getting ready to go to trigger con uh, that's next what i month. think a vagina looks like no that's good oh that's awesome way to, way to go jp am i close not even uh, no not even close all right anyway anyway trigger con is coming to what'd you call me <laughs> tr- uh, trigger con trigger, trigger oh. con my brother trigger it's, con it's, it's a big huge convention of, of guns and gun manufacturers all over the country come to wichita and try to sell your stuff and then the, the hmm. vip tickets you get to go to the same range we were at and shoot all the new shit so oh. if i go to trigger yeah. con, can i bu- yeah. can i buy a gun that day uh, with background check, you can. Can they do they do an immediate background yes. check? Yeah, they they do an immediate background check whenever you do it. I had to have one as well. So I can buy a check. gun and leave with it that yeah. very same hour. Yeah. The only time that you don't get a background check is whenever somebody buys the gun for you. I bought. I bought. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I bought my America. buddy. I bought my buddy a gun for yeah. that reason. Yeah. That's it, it, it's it, yeah. It's what happens. Cool. Well, yeah, I'll so. see you guys at Trigger Con. Yep. Fuck yeah, you will. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'll be there. Uh, but then the other thing that I, I love recording on a Sunday or over the weekend because then I get to go to trivia night. And if you if you have like in your local area a bar or something like that where they have a traveling trivia, it's the same in every state. It's uh-huh. the same idea. It's great. Um, <clears throat> but we won because I knew one question. Dude, do you know how many times <laughs> I've heard this story? No, it's no. This is a new this one. This is a new this one. This is a new one. But same story. Because I'm curious to see if I just new day different day same I'm curious story. to see if you guys would know this all right so, so rub it up exactly how the last one went well, well, I'm, well I'm curious and we as knew well. it come and on we knew it okay rub a dub dub three men in the tub that nursery rhyme can you name their three occupations butcher baker candlestick maker Fuck i mean yes I was who the, doesn't know that? Apparently, everybody in this fucking bar, because I was the only one who knew that shit, I and I have, pulled it out of my ass. I don't know the whole nursery rhyme. No, I like, don't either. I wouldn't have put those you together. Know, you know what? It, you know what fucking popped up in my head somehow? Eddie Izzard on doing his stand-up talks about the Dude, butcher, the baker, and the candlestick maker. That is, he is probably. He might be my favorite comedian Eddie? ever. Yeah, I loved his Dude, dr- his dress to kill. Dude, his dress to kill is sorry. Phenomenal. British transvestite. Oh, yes, just weird. Fucking. He's it good. Wasn't weird. It's He's not good. weird though. It's it was not a good, weird. It's yeah. He. It was. It's not. Ah, dude. God. It's not though. It's your truth. You're right. Five minutes. It ha- goes away. It's not weird. You're right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, How does he I identify? Him. I don't even know. Because he was doing this shit back in like the fucking early two thousands. Yeah, like, I remember before that. Yeah. Yeah. But. Funny motherfucker. Oh, dude. Just saying. So fucking good. Excellent. So good. But yeah, uh, so yeah, that uh, that was my week. Now we get to move on to the other stuff. But guys, if you haven't already, please do us a favor. If you would subscribe to the channel. Also, the cheapest way to help this channel out is to leave a comment, leave a like. If you have not done yet that yet, please stop the episode. Do us a, do us a favor. Make a comment. Let us know who you think actually won the comedy contest. JP. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Steve <laughs> Peters. <laughs> I, I, I'm I'm it really It depends. It depends. <laughs> this is this is I've never seen Steve do stand up. I have only seen him host. But here's the thing. I know Steve. I know Steve too. And if Steve just goes out there and is Steve, 
It's going to come down to me and him. I hope so. If in a perfect fucking world, I think that's probably in a perfect fucking world, this is what would happen. Derek goes out immediately and just absolutely. That's just, not nice. I'm just saying no, but I don't want him to win a third competition. Why not? Is the is all of it tonight? Are yeah, you, it's all tonight. So they're doing multiple rounds so in there's front four, of the same there's four audience. Bracket, there's four yeah, brackets. There's four brackets or four divisions. Four divisions. There's, there's three, three people, people in each, each division, and then it get it dwindles down to the final four, and the final four compete against each other, and then it's one on one. Are you allowed to repeat material? Don't believe so. No, it's no, it's not even I, one on one. It's I'm the sure. final four, and that's it. Whoever wins out of those. Oh, four. I didn't know that because he he only said to do to bring two five minute sets. Oh, which I have none of. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you're you'll wing it, and it'll yeah. either be weird or, or really good. funny. Yeah. Right, it's gonna go one way or another. I can tell you that. Yeah, it will. Yeah, it's true. There are people who are actually going tonight specifically oh. for you. Oh, a, a bunch. So, I like, hope dude, you don't you have any. Kill. I guarantee. I Sorry. guarantee that. Just in my friend group, I bet there's probably thirty to fifty people. It's sold out. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's sold out right yeah. now. So I know that. But here's the thing: the people that are coming that actually know me mm-hmm. personally won't be surprised if I fail. Right. And that's what I love about them. Because yeah. <laughs> you'll see them after the show. Yeah, and they'll be like, they're like oh, and they're tough, like, oh, tough go at it, right. buddy. Tough yep. go at it, buddy. You'll <laughs> get sure. it next time. Uh, that's my yeah. least favorite thing is when I do shitty on stage. Yeah. Like, like, friend, oh, it wasn't that bad. A friend from grade school <laughs> yeah. there or something. And they're like, you did good. And I'm like, no, I didn't. Dude, right. So the first show, the first, like, I was only doing comedy for two months, I bet. Yeah. And I had had so many people come up to me and be like, man, you're really good at this. That I got this thing where I was like, oh, I am good at, you know what, and I'm going to. ego. And I, I made my own show, oh. and I recorded it. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, afterwards, I knew it was bad, but everybody's like, you know, yeah, man, we're so glad we came out, and you were great, and whatever. And then when I watched it back, dude, I was like, wow, You're I'm like, not I'm, good at this I'm at all. <laughs> <laughs> it takes practice. People winging it. your face. Oh, yeah. Winging it only gets anyway. you so far. Well, yeah. hopefully it'll get me through this contest. It because, should, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, now we got through that. I'm like, let's, Ricky, man. let's get on to the hot topics for this week. Uh, there is some, some but stuff. But it might not. There's some stuff that's happening. <laughs> And I just, I just, I'm very, very sad to report to, to <laughs> JP, but apparently uh, uh, Grinder is currently down for all users. Incorrect. <laughs> just used the last night. <laughs> oh, did you really? So that sounds like an oh, old story, Oh, so they got, story, it, they've got it back up and running? It was just down momentarily, oh. apparently. Oh, I'm, I don't want you to pull yeah, anything don't. up. Don't, don't, don't. I don't want to see any dick right Do now. Do they show Does dicks in no. Grindr? Uh Mine's working just fine. Okay, well, good for you. I just heard it was it went down because of the. Oh, look, Scotty's on there. Fuck are, you. Are there any? <laughs> Weird. It says we're three feet apart right now. <laughs> it's, are, it's there's it's off. Are there any chicks on Grinder? Define chicks. <laughs> so it's like. I would be more likely to hook up with uh, somebody who was born female and turned into a male. Oh, that's true. Because I I still want to <laughs> magically turn magically turned yeah, into one. Those trans yes. people they're on there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. And I mean, there's I'm, also biological females that are on there. That's what I was. That's what I originally but meant. Those are weird chicks <laughs> that are like you don't want. You don't want that. But you know that they're on there because they're like I can flip him. Like right. I can. Yeah. No, they're not on there for that. Ah. <sighs> They're they're on there. Okay, to, what are they on there for? To dude, meet other chicks dude, or or I'm, dudes or I, I I don't know why they're on there. Uh, it's because they have daddy issues. That's why. Probably. But I mean, I will appreciate that in a woman, uh, right? I, right? I, <laughs> I knew that's what you're going. I was gonna say it. I appreciate that grosser girl. than that, but yes, right. that's there, a nice way. There is a uh, there is a girl on TikTok who is outspoken a lesbian and. She is fucking hot, and it just breaks my heart. I'm married. I don't. There's nothing I can do, but I'm just like, oh man, they got another one. You know? yeah. It's like, oh, yeah. oh, oh come yeah. on. We're we're choosing sides. Oh, son of Make a Make no mistake. And I love her. I I, I watch a lot of her videos. Uh, she's great. But even I, the, even uh, though she's a lesbian, you still watch her videos? Absolutely. I don't care. It's just like, man, they they got one. They got I'm another fa- one. I'm not fond of them. Oh man, she's 
beautiful. But anyway, uh, I, I look at lesbians the same them. way I look at any other yeah. group. It's like most of them have always been cool to me. Exactly. Yeah. Same thing with JP. I've had a few You've gotten that really were fucking lucky. rude, but yeah. yeah. You've gotten really lucky, man. I guess. True. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, uh, there's that that happened. I just was going to say that, that at one point in time, Grinder was down for all users, and it was, I, I got it. Yeah, I got you it. don't have to. You don't have I got it. I know. It's back up and running. Check this out. There's, somebody's somebody's <laughs> Are there chicks on there? No, I'm sorry. Are we doing this whole bit again? <laughs> going on? What is going on? No, but I guess it had to do with like a monkey pox scare or some oh, shit. Really? Like, yeah, that's kind of what I heard. Really? Dead, yeah. They I were like, yeah. stop fucking for a second. Yeah. Just stop. Dude, you need to get off of uh, whatever fucking. <laughs> the news. Liber- libertarian no. news. Yeah, yeah, whatever Come on, it is. buddy. That's not tr- it, it's that's not, not true. true. It's not true. It's not true. I'm just, I'm saying it's not true. They are but talking they are about, talking monkey, about pox monkey pox again. a lot again. Oh yeah, because yeah. an election's coming up. Exactly, wanna... that's what I well, said. Lucky for me, I haven't fucked anybody in five years. So, <laughs> well, don't you're saying right now? Not just, right now. Not right now. Just stop fucking everybody. Stop fucking. Unfortunately, for a second. unfortunately, I don't think that's going to be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. You're performing tonight. Uh, yeah, now yeah. it's going to be right, right, right. But that'll uh, be the thing that pushes me over the edge. <laughs> right. <laughs> Wait till they hear my jokes. Yeah. They'll love me. That's what happens to me. Where I'm like, uh, I'm gonna, I, I'll go out with the guys. But I don't feel like taking a shower. But it doesn't matter because I ain't gonna hook up. And then you meet somebody perfect, and you're like, God damn it, damn I'm it. gross. <laughs> I'm gonna. I have to talk her into let's take a shower together before anything right. else. Absolutely. Uh, but yes, uh, moving on to the <laughs> next I was, one. If hey. I was anybody, I wouldn't be taking showers with Mike's toenails. I have Definitely to not. That I have <laughs> a, fucking a, flippers that he's got in there. Fetish. Jesus. Anyway. I've got a sock fetish where I always wear my socks even in the shower. If, I, if you just saw my toenails, you wouldn't. And, and I was like, how many days? How long do you think it's been? You would probably be like, I don't know, in the last week or two, I would say. Mike but apparently believes that his toenails grow ridiculously slow. He's lying. I mean, everything Fucking talons grows on this dude. slightly differently on everybody. Right. But, uh, but let's move on. If they grew like your hair, you <laughs> never have to cut them. Yeah. That's what my body does. It Dude, it pushes things maybe out that's slowly. Why. We should invent a pill yeah. that makes your nails stop growing. Oh yeah, that I don't see any bad side effects to come from that. I did see a thing. It they, doesn't matter. They made a pill that regrows yeah, teeth. Have you heard about that? They regrow teeth. Yep. They it's only in done, your mouth. Yeah, they've only done animal testing so far, but they've like pulled teeth out of animals. Look at the smile on that snake. <laughs> <laughs> and then no, it can only regrow them. It can't just grow them. Oh uh, well, then there has to be like a cool. tooth hole. Uh, well, <laughs> oh, damn it! Now see, that's a whole different pill. But yeah. <laughs> All right. So, anyway, you meet some chick who's who's obviously <laughs> wearing dentures, and she's been taking that pill, and all of a sudden she's got fucking like a mouth full of teeth in her fucking vag. Fucking rose. Oh, I don't want shark. That. Oh god, that's so disgusting. Well, Anyways. that's good to know that it only grows them if there's a hole. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> that could get out of hand otherwise. A tooth hole. Yeah. What if you accidentally fucking shoved one in your vagina? Oh, would you grow teeth in there? <laughs> I would shove one in on in my hand and <laughs> hope that I would grow like extra yeah. sharp talons. <laughs> That'd be cool. Uh, I read a thing the other day, and this it is fun. Uh, when you brush your teeth, it's the only time that you clean your skeleton. Oh, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. All uh, right. What, uh, what about your toenails? I don't think that's that, irrelevant. Okay. <laughs> that's like uh, what are you know, like? Stri- ter- I would like keratin? to have that stricken from the record. <laughs> Okay, fine. All right, moving on. Uh, there was actually some uh, news in baseball. I don't know if you saw this. This, this, this was uh, related uh, for something you may be interested yeah. in. Yeah, a guy named uh, Jaron Duran, uh, who plays for the Boston Red Sox, was mic'd up during a game. Oh, yeah, I saw this. Got heckled by a fan. Called him a faggot. Thank you for saying it so yeah, I didn't have to. He called him a faggot. Yeah, he did. Did the a audience hear at the fa- time? Huh? What? I, I don't think the audience, I don't think the field they didn't hear it. Oh, the field didn't, but the but, but the he was mic'd TV, up. He was mic'd up. He was huh. mic'd up. The broadcast. And so, uh, so the broadcast. So, <laughs> yeah. so everybody yeah. hates him now, and they boycotted him. Right? Exact opposite. In fact, his jersey is the number one seller in the MLB shop right now. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Uh, America, buddy. I mean, I'm just saying. But Here in, comes Trump. Oh, my in, God. In that guy's defense, he wasn't saying, hey, you're a homosexual man. <laughs> yes. No, he said faggot, he was which saying, is way worse. But he didn't mean gayness if by he it. he said, 
you homosexual bastard. <laughs> that would have probably been all right. <laughs> no, I'm oh. saying like that word can uh, be a gay slur, it but it can. can also just be like, dude, quit being dumb, you <laughs> quit, idiot. Quit being a fucking asshole. Right? Right. That's what he was that's, trying to that's say. That's what that word always meant <laughs> every day that I said it in high school until yeah. five years ago when I was like, wait, I can't right. say it anymore? Yeah, and in the UK, they say it all the time when they want to go smoke. So that's what they use it for. I so still, I think, you know. I still say it to cars all the time <laughs> when I'm driving. But oh. I'm never speaking to the human being. I'm speaking to the <laughs> car as a whole, you know. that the car's gay or what? No, just get oh. out of my way, faggot. I'm faggot. trying to go. <laughs> Wow. Thank you so much if for making this If we threw the fun. N word around like we're throwing the F word around, we'd be canceled. But they're not. Th that's, but, that's like John Mulaney's joke where the lady's like, the word midget is as bad as the N word. And he's like, no, it's not. You know how I know? Because you're saying the word midget. Yeah. He's yeah. like, if you're comparing the badness of two words and you won't even say, say one, one of them, them yeah. that's the worst <laughs> word. That's 100% true. Uh, but uh, moving on to the next thing, there's a, there's a trend on X right now where all of the conservative women are taking pictures of themselves in bikinis. Yeah, Anna Paulina Luna. Okay, yeah, her. Uh, there's uh, Bogart, I believe is what her name is. Bobert, Lauren Bobert. Bobert, yeah. Holy shit! If you think that of Lauren Bobert, look up Whoa. Anna Paulina Luna. I and, have. And her I've Make America Great Again I've seen, swimsuit. I, I saw that, and I was just like, Jesus We're Christ. Fucked. As a country, we <laughs> well, are all I'm That's saying, all right. what do you want to see, Nancy Pelosi? <laughs> and her? What I was going to say. All we're talking exactly. about is how hot they are. I, right, I, I, I was just that, like, but I can get behind this trend. But these all of the, you people that really like him, you're allowed to be a, take a, a picture member of Congress a whore. and a hot chick a whore. simultaneously. Sure. What are you talking about? If she I'm was, a whore. If there's she a whore running for vice or running for president I, right now. If I looked like either one of them, I, my <laughs> lips would hang to my knees. <laughs> I'd be so oh my abused. god! But yeah, we already have we have a whore running for president, dude. I'm just saying. It, valid point. Yeah. But when you suck dick to get to where you are, that's kind of a horror thing to do. Just All right. So anyway, this episode is going great. <laughs> just, this is going I'm just, well. I'm letting it all out because I was fucking pissed off with my computer earlier. So yeah, this almost no, didn't this even is, happen. This is me. Uncensored. Thank God we made it back. Yeah. Okay. And then last but certainly not least, uh, I do want to give this chick a shout out. She doesn't need everybody knows who the fuck she is. But the hawk to a girl, uh -huh. Haley th Welch. She yeah. threw out right? the first pitch yeah. at a Mets game. Yeah, and, and everybody the, loves her. Uh, no, they, it's like um, what? they're they're like mad at her because sh they think that she's doing like a big money grab. Which uh, do it. That's the whole point. When you get a, when you go fucking nuclear um, viral on whatever, then yeah, you you're going to eventually be phased out of being viral it's gonna happen i don't know charlie bit my finger still around yeah yeah that's true <clears throat> but but that video is gonna be famous forever but the thing is is they're mad at her because they think that she's doing this big money grab well here's the deal she's like raising awareness for like dogs and shit and spending a lot of money on food for yeah. like dog food for animals that need that so i'm like hold the yeah. fuck on fuck the people that line the streets yeah right. just let's the feed the dogs I mean, yeah, I, let's I would. Not, Good call. I I, ha I like dogs a lot more than I like people. Uh, me too. Okay, but. then shut up. Just okay. saying. All right. Dogs are dogs are innocent fucking. But you things. can call me a faggot all you want. <laughs> But don't, don't tell shit me on to dogs. shut up and shit on dogs. Yeah. <laughs> no, she. Somebody posted the other day that uh, this girl that got famous for uh, making blowjob references turns out to be one of the most wholesome yeah, right. human yeah, beings. Yeah, exactly. And that's what I like. And then she also did that thing uh, when she was talking with Bill Maher about the uh, the New York song with Jay Z and Alicia Keys. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I like that too. Yeah, sure. Okay. Con concrete jungle wet dream tomato. <laughs> yeah, I did see that. Uh, it, anyway. I, it made when she when I first saw it, I was like, she didn't make that up herself. Like she saw that in a meme or something. She had to have had to have. But I haven't seen it anywhere else before that. So you're right. But anyways, uh, we've got a comedy show to get to, so we're going to move along to the fun parts of oh, the yeah. show. Sorry. I'm oh, you're good. We're good. Just trying to make it an interesting show for everybody. Yeah, thank I was, you. I was going to prepare and write some stuff, but... <laughs> nah, just wing it, bro. So looks, sorry. Looks like that's not going to happen. That's out of the question at this point. So if I bomb, 
It's my fault. Just tell them about the show today. Right. You Everybody can. will laugh at that. You can. And if they introduce you three and don't say from laughing on the sidelines, going to be pissed. But anyways, that's just saying. Yep. Okay? Yeah, well, pay me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wear a goddamn shirt. I mean. Okay. Oh, I'll get anyways. a tattoo on my forehead. Like I will, too, if you yeah. pay me enough. Pay no. me enough. All right. Uh, but anyways, now we get to move on to Never Have I Ever. Thank you guys so very much for participating in the Monday f- uh, Fun Day thing. I appreciate you guys doing that. A lot of you guys had some good suggestions, and some of you didn't. Um, this look like, these look like the same questions we did last week. Nope, not quite. Uh, <laughs> oh. I don't know. You no. got the wrong you thing. You got the wrong Here's thing. Here's my thing. Oh, mine's from last week. Yeah, yeah. it is. <laughs> Remember? We were supposed well, to share That makes total ours. sense. Yeah, then. you were supposed to share. Oh, there yeah. you go. Okay. Anyways, uh, the first one comes in from Benji Varnum. He wants to know, never have I ever walked out on someone mid-sex or get them naked and change your mind and leave. Who wants to go first? You can. Yes. Mm, you You've stopped so, mid-sex and been like, all yeah. right. You guys know Megan Welch, right? Oh, God, yes. Yeah? Yeah. So there is this gay no, guy. No, you didn't. Dude. Okay, all there, right. There is this gay guy <sighs> that, like, she knows him. I don't remember his name even. But people say they look a lot alike or whatever. Okay. But anyway, I fucking brought him home one night. Oh, God. <clears throat> and... We and started getting undressed, and his fucking feet stunk so fucking bad oh, dude, that I was like, look, man, I know we've been out at the club and whatever all night and whatever, but I was like, I can't do this, bro. I was like, you reek. I was like, you want to go take a shower real quick? And then we'll fucking... And he's like... <sighs> And he just put his clothes back on and left. Wow. <laughs> like, I was nice about it. Even. Good job. You know, I tried to be nice yeah, about it. Yeah, it sounds like you were doing I think, the right thing. I think that's probably the only time, really. Okay, fair enough. I, I had a similar shoe experience once yeah. where I was just like, dude, I can smell this chick's, sh- not just her feet, but like her shoes from here. <laughs> oh, and it God. just, that's yeah. not going to do it. And we we made out work. a little bit, but the whole time I was like, I'm not going to try anything else because I don't. Yeah. If your shoes, if them smell shoes this come bad, off, we're then, in big trouble. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Like, no, just pull, pull your pants down. Leave your shoes on. It's hot. <laughs> Try to take the pants off over the shoes. I have a thing for shoes. chicks in shoes. <laughs> no, even the shoes smelled like wet dock oh, marble. Oh, that's gross. That's not good. So, no, I have never done this before, but I definitely have been watching some porn, wanting to see what some chick looks like naked, and then you see it, her what her boobs look like, and you're like, ah, <laughs> nope, next video. So, anyway. Yeah. Okay, that's the same. You guys, <laughs> you guys been downloading a bunch of stuff lately? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm prepared now. <laughs> Because we yeah, all gave Mike shit off. in Kansas, yeah, they did. They yeah, sure the fuck did. We Luckily. all gave Mike shit, and it turns out Do you want to smoke some of the best weed in Kansas. <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> that's shit. funny that that I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so do I. I know, this doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Anyways, uh, next one comes in from Derek Hill. He wants to know: Never have I ever hydroplaned off of the toilet from swamp ass. Not from swamp ass, but I've I've had How that. How fucking fast are you running into the bathroom? I've ha- I've shit halfway, thought I was done, got in the shower, emergency, turned off the shower, jumped back on the <laughs> toilet. I never fell off, but I remember being like, "Woo!" <laughs> like that was a little quick. Went a little too quick there. Have you ever done this? No. <laughs> But he's saying swamp ass like you're like you're sweaty and shit. I've never had that. Okay, let me clarify. I've never had swamp ass and slid off of a not toilet. Th- not that bad. <laughs> I've never to where I'm sliding <laughs> off toilets. I didn't slide <laughs> off. It. I'm just you, saying it was enough that I had to like. Oh, why whoa. are you running? <laughs> Oh, and it was, jumping onto the toilet. It was because if I hadn't, I would have been cleaning the mess off my floor. Oh God, that's disgusting. No, I've never fucking done that. But I'm just trying. Right. Well, I'm this just guy imagine. has obviously, or he wouldn't have thought to ask it. No, I will. No, I will, and have felt like I've just got to take a giant shit, <laughs> yeah. and so I do pre lube. Oh God, that's disgusting. Is that the same? No, it's it not never the slipped same. off the toilet from it. Oh, that's disgusting. Is that a real thing? No, no. but could but it, it be? Could be. That, I've had <laughs> like, some you, shits yeah, before have, where I'm like, them, like, fuck, I wish I didn't have to do this. <laughs> I'm like, man, if this thing would just slide out a little easier, <laughs> it's like a fucking turd torpedo. I'll tell you what, <laughs> <laughs> shits are way easier after you get fucked in the ass. It becomes like my that. my new thing. 
Yeah, yeah. It, it's like you it's, try it. <laughs> it's the difference between like like blowing up a balloon pressure or like uh, <laughs> uh, Austin Powers, where they see the shadow from the tent and just all of the great yeah, 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 yeah. whatever it is just fall out loosely. I imagine oh, that's how your Jesus shits are. Christ. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're not wrong. <laughs> no, mine are like wow. I, fucking push mine out oh, that's that's what if you get a real big one and you know it's gonna hurt you fucking lube up first man it's <laughs> interesting right. you lube have to up, try it lube up first then you blow a hole at the I got bottom a, of your I got a tube toilet in the, i got a half a tube in the car i'll give you one. it <laughs> could be leave. like a like a bidet or whatever when i first heard about the i was like fuck that and but then i used one and i was like, like oh, oh god this, this changes everything yeah. i might just have to do pre-shit lube yeah from now on. you should dude uh, all right, next one comes. If you're not if you're not pre lubing, <laughs> what are you doing with your life? I'm I don't still, know. I'm sorry, I'm still stuck on this. Who the fuck? Like, I'm thinking, is there a bathroom large enough for somebody to be sprinting as fast as they can go through the fucking like? No, stall? how do you? <laughs> how I don't do know how this that? happens. No, no. quite you frankly, be it's just sprinting uh, uh, around the bathroom <laughs> at all. But. Before we got into it, I thought it was a really fucking stupid question. <laughs> but now, but now I love it. I love it. <laughs> I always say it's the funniest thing in the world to me that the uh, the only stall in the bathroom that you can run around in is the, the handicap, handicap stall. stall. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do they need to run around in here for? <laughs> no, they got to do a twelve point turn in order for them to use yeah, it. If you're gonna get a black bathroom blowy, that's where you, you do it. The right. Handicap stall. Yep, that's right. Uh, and last one comes in from Dev Dev. He wants to know: Never have I ever rigged a comedy contest to win three times. <laughs> TBD. <laughs> I I did twice technically. Yeah. Oh, okay. I uh, the very first funniest comedian in Kansas City contest, and the second a few years later funniest comedian in Kansas City contest. I just brought. I invited every friend and family member that I could. Yep, sure. That's how that works. That is how that works. I mean, I wasn't thinking I'm going to rig this contest. Right. No, I was like, I'm going to show this club that, that, I that I can bring, bring people, people out. People. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, that was Never Have I Ever. Now we get to move on to That's Where We Draw the Line. This is JP's favorite part of ever. Oh, sorry. There you go. Do the Trump dance. Yeah, anyway. Uh, but yes, that's where I draw the line. Uh, we are going to kick it right off with a guy named Ty Heath. It's what? not, as, not what as a, a new guy. terrible name. It's terrible. Both like of it. his names are bad. <laughs> No, it's no. Not. You're you're great. He's great, uh, but he wants to know where is the line between showing someone you're interested in them and stalking. That's a pretty good well, when you drive by their house at three a.m., <laughs> that's probably a pretty big red flag. They don't know you're coming. Well, it, <laughs> stalking yeah, is that's stalking is yeah. stalking or when has, you park down the road. It has little. It has less to do with the activity that you're doing and more about the person's interest in you. The example I give is showing up at their work. If the person likes you, they're like, oh, hey. Like, I'm. No, you know? no, yeah, yeah. And if they don't like you, they're like, oh, fuck, he's here. Where's yeah. He like the fucking dude stalking me. And the guy's like, I don't even know you were here. I just came to eat lunch. I'm not fucking stalking you. <laughs> so uh, the, there is no line. It's just, <clears throat> what does that person think of you? Yeah. And I, I will, uh, I will kind of go with something along those lines. If uh, if if you are pursuing someone who does not want to be pursued by you, I I I'd say it probably we just didn't. basically gave the dictionary meaning for stalking. That's our <laughs> yeah. answer. Yeah. Well, stalking. Yeah. But it used to be, I, and I don't know what year this changed exactly, but it was like I'm gonna prove to her that I'm the right man for her. I'm gonna like you hear grandma stories of like he showed up at my work every day for a month, and I finally <laughs> went out with him, and yeah. we've been together for seventy two years. Yeah. See, I think these people just need to give the stalking a little more time. Yeah. Maybe they'll grow into it. Maybe. But, yeah, but that's true with everything. Where it's like, no, you got to walk right up to her and start talking to her. And there's another guy that's like, no, just, you got to. Sit there and ignore her, and she'll come talk to you. <laughs> Ask her what her name is, and as soon as she opens her mouth, shove your dick in there. <laughs> Show her who's the boss. That's always, probably where I draw the line. Okay, that's good. My thing for a while was uh, I would say, "Hey, I'm Mike. What's your name?" And she'd be like, "Lisa," and I'd be like, "Oh, Lisa and Mike. That's cute. <laughs> that's that, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it good. would always get a little chuckle. <laughs> that's good. Unfortunately, that's all I got. <laughs> uh -huh, yeah, they're like, ah, okay. Hey, well, I'm not gonna talk to him okay, anymore. Bye, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't look like he can afford to buy me a drink <laughs> uh next one comes in from roger colton 
I modified this one to make it make sense. Oh, no, I he love just, it when you do this. He just, he actually just gave me an idea. And so I wanted to give him credit for yeah. giving me the idea. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but what do you consider to be cheating on your significant other? JP, you're going to have the most interesting answer ever. You would think so, but no, I think I'm going to blow you're your a, mind. You're in a fucking open relationship. That's different. That's not cheating. Okay. That's, that's what if I don't understand. A, cheating is if you're in a committed relationship, right? And you are... Look at porn? No. <laughs> no. That's definitely not cheating. But I think if you're having a conversation, even a conversation with somebody, and you're interested in them... Okay. Like, physically or, oh. or emotionally... Yeah. And you allow yourself to... I, I get into that situation. I think that's cheating. I understand. I get it. I cheat all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the thing: I I was really when I was younger. Yeah. I was a I cheated on. You've told yeah, me stories. It's bad. I was yeah. a bad. That's probably why I'm not getting laid now. It's like fuck. You've done enough. Yeah, yeah. That and he just ran through everyone. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And there's Here, not very let me many. Pull up my grinder again. <laughs> there's, there's not many gays in the Kansas area. He Every, ran out. Everybody that I haven't fucked. <laughs> Is not everybody that I fucked is blocked. I've got uh, four people. On I there. would say uh, if you're doing something that if your significant other were doing the exact same thing to and you, you and you would good. be mad at them that's for a it, good yeah, answer. Like that. then that's, that's probably good counts that's as cheating. Because I was going to be like, there have definitely been people where I'm like, I bet you she looks good naked. You oh, know? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? How about this? How about she'd be fun to have fuck? Have you ever been at a party with? somebody that you've been dating for a, a while and you're at a party or somewhere or a bar and you see them talking to another person and you can tell there's something there. You know what I mean? No. Where, where you're like, if, I didn't, of, if I didn't exist, I don't they would be like, hooking up right now. Right. Yeah. I did. I mean, I, one time only that happened it, to me. It, it's been a long time. I'm not a jealous person. Yeah, I'm not either. But one time I was at, we were at a party. We were at our house and this guy came over that was friends with a girl that lived with us. And I was like, dude, get off my boyfriend. Like, you're all over him. Like, he wasn't even gay. No. Oh. Allegedly. Right. But I was like, no, there. if I wasn't here tonight, if I wasn't in the picture, oh, they'd be fucking. Yeah. Yeah, it only happened once. It was just weird. Anyway. Yeah, I, I never got to that point. Generally, Good. if I if I thought that there was any kind of canoodling going on without me, uh, they're canoodling. they're gone. They're they're out of here. I That's got where caught, I draw the line. I got caught canoodling. Canoodling. My freshman year in high school, I was dating this girl named Emily, and there was this other girl named Jennifer. And I was talking on the phone to Jennifer, Jennifer? and I was like, "If uh, I was like, if you would be my girlfriend, I'd rather be I'd your girlfriend Emily. than Emily." And it wasn't five minutes later that Emily called Cold. and was like, "I can't <laughs> believe you said that to Jennifer." And I was like, "God Dude, damn it, Jennifer!" My sister, my sister did that shit with three way calling one time. Oh yeah, me and, and my friend had Frazier. The guy on the, she was on the other line while they were talking, and he it was her boyfriend, uh -huh. and oh. he was like, "Yeah, if you know, if you wanted to go out." You know, on a date and or then something, she and we wouldn't in. say anything. And then Nikki was like, "What the fuck?" Uh, you know, like, <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> People always used to tell me and my friend Fraser that we sounded the same on the phone, and this was oh, yeah, before three way. So then, after three way calling came out, then we were like, "Let's both call them together," that's and fun. we would just alternate sentences and, that's fun. and that's pretend fun. that we were either him or me the whole time. That's nice. awesome. Yeah, it was always fun. Yeah, I've never ever cheated before so i feel like something yeah. changed as far as well, you the, have to have you have to have somebody willing to cheat with you scotty well i mean sure but i'm i'm talking like whenever i was I'm a, I'm, I'm a golden retriever dude now yeah that's good i'm never You're yeah a good guy never have. i knew you were a good guy yeah yeah if if i knew for a fact <clears throat> that she won't find out i'll be a piece of shit <laughs> and that here's the other thing there's like a whole bunch of youtube videos and tiktoks of of people getting caught cheating oh, and I, it's the chick oh yeah i can't even watch that oh no it wrecks me dude i'm yeah. just like oh what a piece of shit you are and and poor the poor guy yeah the guy in the situation is like i had no idea bro right I fucking knew but whatever i saw a good version of that the other 
other day where the, a chick is in the car with two black dudes and her boyfriend walks up and is like, like bangs on the window. What the fuck, Sharon? Or whatever. I saw that. They all get out and he's yep. yelling at her and stuff. And then he points to her bumper sticker that says uh, Harris Walls. Oh, and he goes, I, I can't fucking believe you would do this. And she's like, what? You're not mad about That's He's like, no, you're a whore. I don't care about that. <laughs> this. You're, I didn't know you were a fucking libtard. <laughs> All right, uh, moving on to the next one. Uh, this one comes in from Travis Chrisman. He wants to know, how long do you continue to wear old underwear before throwing them away? I don't. You don't wear underwear? No, I mean, I wear underwear, but I don't, like, they don't ever get that old. Oh, okay. I replace them. You, you're a me undies guy, aren't you? I like, no, but I like underwear. Like, I'm, Okay. I'm I've a got me a bunch undies of guy. underwear. If they weren't fucking thirty-five dollars a pair, I'd be a me on these guys. Mm-hmm. Jesus, you gotta, you gotta Christ. subscribe, dude. dude it's only fuck. what's it's, the most you've ever paid for a pair of underwear? Uh, what do you? How much are the the fucking like six pack at Walmart Seriously? from Hanes? Yeah, you know how much I paid. <laughs> what? You paid I a, have a pair of Andrew Christians that oh, I paid Jesus. like fucking eighty some dollars Jesus for. Christ. Wow, are they your favorite underwear? I don't have many more. Were well, they though? But yeah, at that point, yeah, yeah I loved them. I can like, see that. Me undies, though, you can get a pair of underwear and a pair of socks once a month for like twenty dollars. Oh, that's not bad. You got it's a subscription thing. I that's fine. Like that's that's why I have so many of them because I'm like, ah, yeah. hey, Netflix, fucking underwear, yeah, whatever. Okay, that you that's more. I'm he had to up his prescription. <laughs> yeah. for fucking like no, but like uh, I stopped doing it after a while because yeah. I was like, I have plenty I'm of underwear. Right. I did that with the Dollar Shave Club. Holy fuck, I have so many razors. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. Are they triple blades? Yeah. You need to get rid of some. I, I'll bring you some, man. I've got fuck tons of <laughs> See? them. See, Mike's like yeah. deal. Hell yeah, I knew this podcast would lead. To something <laughs> finally it's finally paid it's off paying get off. some free shit some recording two hours later um uh, but no i like if you have a hole in your underwear do you throw them away oh I, it never gets bad enough okay to, yeah I, but yes 100 so percent. if depends media, on where the hole is that's true yeah. too yeah <laughs> you're gonna like this one i had no idea uh the i wear boxer briefs and i had no idea just a for, perfect asshole oh, hole. dude directly <laughs> it's it's it legitimately looked like and i'm like honey how come you haven't told me why didn't oh, you throw these away i didn't know we were talking about holes there because whenever i get a new pair of underwear <laughs> I, I put I, a I hole immediately in cut, cut a hole, hole there the yeah. i thought that was just normal oh man these underwears look like jesus christ scotty shat himself or farted so bad it blew out a fucking <laughs> hole in there More that no, fabric I, now. I don't think i've ever had that i do remember uh, as a kid there was at least one pair of retired dad underwear that was like uh, the rag that my mom used oh, to, yeah. to like stay in the oh, coffee table or something yeah. <laughs> dust <laughs> right dusting yeah. dude <laughs> wow i great. assume that she washed them you but just unlocked a memory yeah bro. that's one of those I memories that. that you don't think about so, oh, so the, to complete the funny story do you know how i found out that those these particular underwear had a huge hole directly mm. on where my asshole is the dog licked through the hole <laughs> no oh. no i sat down and accidentally sat with my nuts in between there and i could feel like the pinch of the jeans i was wearing e. yeah, all right that was bad okay okay glad we, anyways glad we got through that we're gonna get through one more we got a bonus one this week this one comes in oh. from tyler freeman he wants to know how much is too much to spend on alcohol or weed every week and yes. here's the thing i'll say exactly what i said in the comment section when he asked this question Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I if you if you knew JP's financial problems have been discovered, <laughs> uh, dude. If I quit smoking cigarettes, you would be so rich and weed. Oh yeah, you'd be rich. I could get I could buy whatever I want. <laughs> you could. <laughs> I know, but uh, the thing is, I want to buy cigarettes and weed. Yeah. yeah. So you are you can buy whatever you want right now, yeah, and, right. And, and, and what I it is choose, right. is cigarettes and weed. weed. That's Correct. right. That's but just yeah, what he wants. It's a lot. It's way more than you would think. Yeah. I, take I, a guess. Uh, I don't want to know. Just take a guess. Uh, what I, I spend I, a month. I'll guess on it weed, a, weed and a, cigarettes. I'm going to do the Cox cable subscription. More than that. <laughs> Minus $350 a month. Oh, well, maybe not that much. Cox well, ain't got shit on me. <laughs> How much is a carton of cigarettes? I don't buy them by the carton. I buy them by the pack, and it's they're the same. $10 a pack. All right. And so I smoke a pack a day. A pack a day, so that's thir- three. 280 bucks. Wait, is that 300 a month? Damn near, yeah. Okay, plus weed is probably another 150 200 Okay. 
Yeah, hey. Five hundred and forty dollars a month. Yeah. Jesus Christ. That's what I spend on. Good job. Glad yeah. you got your priorities in gear, man. That's why my week, that's why my week week recaps that's are always right. so fucking boring. <laughs> Jesus. And then if you count what I spent on bowling balls, holy shit, I'm surprised I'm alive. <laughs> I'm surprised I can eat. We are all surprised that, of that one. I'm I'm doing of the AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you're still with us for now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I am gonna start calling you F squared. Yeah. Because you're my favorite. Favorite. <laughs> yeah, I'm best. Times two. Fucking friend. That's now, what you are. I probably spend, a, a, I would say, $300 okay. a month on booze, cigarettes. Cigarette. Well, oh, not cigarettes. I don't do booze, but yeah. yeah, cigarettes and weed. I guess the w- cigarettes weren't even in the question. No, weed alone. I 240 a month on weed alone. I, I will, yeah, I, I, I don't can, smoke. I smoke uh, often, that's because, but I don't smoke a lot. I would spend more than that, but I sell too. So <laughs> ah, so I that you're making some, some back. Of the, right, counteract some of the costs. So I will Otherwise, make, it'd be way more. I will make this the answer, and I think this is actually a true story. If you have a maximum to spend on weed, I think that's unlimited. You can you can smoke as much as you want. I think there should be a maximum on alcohol because that shit actually fucking kills you. So that's my opinion on that. Yeah, but everybody's got something. If you're not yeah. if you're not spending money on dude, what are you doing? Man? <laughs> I accidentally marked you. Why right do you now? keep marking me, bro? <laughs> I don't mean to. What's your fucking problem? We're trying <laughs> the second week in a fucking row. He's he's. Not- I showered today only because you marked me last week and I didn't. I didn't want to show up here with the mark I again. Why you he's smell ho- fresh. He's holocausting you, dude. He's yeah, he is. Yeah, marking Mark is. Yeah, he's marking me. He's fucking. I'm pre-marked now. Oh, he's Jesus. gonna wait for me to go out in public, which uh, happens to be tonight. Right, yeah. <laughs> the van's gonna come halfway through. <laughs> Just my look set. for the guy with the pen on his yeah, elbow. Right. Yeah. You'll know. Yeah. Anyways, that is that's where I draw the line <laughs> on JP's arm. Uh, <laughs> and this is uh, now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Um, we're gonna kick this back boy right off with donnie thompson jr he wants to know what's a good name for an elderly strip club gravity no i like it i like it uh aarp <laughs> but it stands for uh all american retired pussy pussy <laughs> yeah i love it i knew what the piece yeah i waited until yeah. you got to the p i was like i know what the p is i know what the p is jp's got one um, i got one for jp too Saggies. Yeah, I was gonna say saggy bottoms is saggy what I was gonna say. Yeah, that's that's like for that. you. Yeah, I think that's yeah. that's good. Uh, I like it. All right. Next one comes in from Braxton Lint. He, moobs. 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 Moobs is good. good. Uh, <laughs> the bear den. Yeah. That that'd be another one for you. Uh, okay. The cave. The cave. Yeah. Uh. Anyways, Braxton Lint wants to know if you had a parrot, what phrase would you accidentally teach it to say? Scotty sucks. <laughs> <laughs> what? Scotty sucks. Scotty sucks. Uh, and I'd bring it with me everywhere. Oh yeah. No, I uh, would. I don't know what I would teach it. <laughs> Mine would just say, "Don't do it, Mike," <laughs> <laughs> and it would end up saving my life. Yeah. There you go. Uh, no, the reason the, the reason why it's accidentally is because it's a phrase that I normally say all the time, and it's it's. You fucking cunt! That's, yeah, that's mine. I was gonna say it'd I probably love, be cunt or something. It's, it's, something like it's that. cunt. It's the yeah. word fucking cunt for, for me. Yeah. I love the that I, phrase. Put if, them together. If they're just going <laughs> off of what you say to them the most often, it would probably be like, "Hey, buddy," because <laughs> yeah. that's what oh, I would say every time I walked in. My, you know? Mine would say. Rock, stop watching me. <laughs> this is uncomfortable. Stop fucking yeah. looking at me, yeah. bird. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to have private time. Rock toward torpedo. <laughs> <laughs> My mom had a some kind of bird, but it couldn't say words, but it could repeat whistles and stuff. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good uh, time. Anyways. My, uh, this chick my sister was friends with, uh, her birds uh, whistled to Andy Griffith. Oh, that's oh, cool. Yeah. See, yeah, but that, that's, that's the only thing it could do, but it did that's, that all the that's, time. Well, that's, that's probably cool. what yeah. the owner did right. all the time. Yeah. Right. Uh, next one comes in from a guy named Raph Brown. He wants to know, like Raphael. <laughs> Fucking made up names, <laughs> Raph, dude. It's got to be Raphael. You think so, right? No, no his no, name's like uh, Raph. Okay. His his first it, Raph is his middle name. His first name is Riff. <laughs> Riff Raph Brown. Riff Raph Brown. That is what it is from That's now a, on. So he sounds black. That seems like. <laughs> Why a, does he sound black? That, to me, it sounds a like a. Guy? Tra- a it seems like All a trailer sudden, park guy. That's like, let's name him Riff Raph. <laughs> like if you say Raph Brown, you think maybe like Mexican? No. 
Raphael. Yeah, like, Raphael. I'm yeah. think I'm thinking like Italian. Italian or yeah. something. But then if you say Riff Raff Brown, immediately your mind goes to a black dude. <laughs> I don't know why. It didn't for me. No, it, no not me either. All right. Well. Uh, anyways, uh, Riff Raff Brown wants to know. <laughs> <laughs> Riff Raff Brown wants to know. <laughs> <laughs> what are some What are some movie roles that would be completely unfit for a certain actor to play? <laughs> <laughs> all of those well, fucking, all of those fucking. Crystalia plays a pedophile on you. <laughs> oh God, yeah. That scene, that's that was, uh, was that before he got in trouble for any of it. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, the, uh, like a month before or something. It was right before. Uh, ugh. Shit. All right. So, so everybody saw it and was like, hey, hey, he's not that good an actor. Yeah. Or he's a really good actor because right. he's like, you know, I, I was pretending so hard that right. everyone believes it. Yeah, him. right. And these completely innocent messages. I don't think so. Looked better. All right. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know about that. And any actor in another role is going to be weird if you like the movie originally, you know? If it's yeah. like, what if we put a George Clooney in, in the Top Gun movies? Right. Oh, yeah. It's like, I don't know. I mean, it'd probably be fine, right. but I'd still be comparing it. This summer, Ryan Reynolds is Rosa Parks. <laughs> I think he could pull it off. <laughs> he could probably I, pull I don't it off. be honest. He probably could. I think honestly. that dude. There's nothing that dude. <laughs> Martin can't Luther do. King Jr. <laughs> yeah, I think he could pull it off. Dude. He fucking but probably just, could. He he does no makeup or no, anything. No, 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 no. But he still says like, as a black man. Yeah, right, <laughs> yes. right. Yeah, that would be both entertaining and ballsy and <laughs> very <laughs> watchable. I fucking love it. All right, uh, the last two questions both come in from Mason Lind. Uh, he wants to know what would be the title of Derek Alder's comedy special. Come on. If you don't like it, I'm moving to Canada. Oh, <laughs> That's <well>. mine. <laughs> okay. I don't have one. I don't know enough about his comedy. Pessimistically to, great. And I feel like we're not close enough for me to jokingly shit on him the way you guys do. <laughs> if I feel like if I said something negative, he'd be like, what the fuck does that mean, Baldwin? I think it's, I think it's the same name as my strip club. Mo oh, yeah. Moobs. Moobs. <laughs> there we go. That would be a good album title yeah. in general. Right. Memorabilia and jokes. That, that would be all right. That'd I, fit his personality. I would do something with his last name, and I, I would have it be like all that something or other, but sure. spell all A-A. -A oh, well, okay. I like it. And uh, last one again from Mason Lynn comes uh, it comes in from him. He wants to know rejected prizes for the prices right. I thought about this when I read this today, and my first thought was a, a dog. <laughs> for like the first one, you know, you won the the you won original the thing. You get a dog, and it's like, <laughs> all right, now in this one, you could win four dogs. <laughs> Everything's a By dog. By the end, yeah, yeah you got I just twelve. Like, you won one hundred and fifty dogs. I'd That's like, funny. I don't want these. <laughs> That's funny. I like. I'll take the cash. <laughs> yeah. No shit. Uh, honestly, all I could think of whenever I, I thought of this was the shittiest infomercial products of all time. Like that, I'd take any, any of, of them. Any name, of them. name anything. I love them all. I would take. Dude, I love a good the, infomercial. The vegetable slicers oh, and shit. All of it. Yeah, I want some. The set it and, <laughs> and forget, forget it. it. Right. Yeah. Take yeah. this pill. It'll uh, make your dick hard. Hey, 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 come hey. on. The Ibanez I can guitar cook roast and jerk off my hard <laughs> cock at the same time. <laughs> And yeah, not see, burn either. Once, when you're when you're cooking the chicken, it makes the pussy hole warm in the back of the device. Right. You yeah. can fuck this thing while your chicken's cooking. Some of those commercials though just had me fucking laughing my ass off. There's a lady that it like it going through her kitchen, opens the door, and all of her like Tupperware it just comes and falls on her like a Tupperware yeah. avalanche. And so the the actual fix for that is a product that organizes all of your Tupperware in the, yeah. into a giant piece of Tupperware. Yeah. It's like, this is fucking hilarious. Yeah. So, I have a, a spinning Tupperware thing. Oh, do you? Uh-huh. Great. I saw it on a TV thing. <laughs> Infomercial? Yeah. You Snatched it up. I always sucker. I, I use them all the time. Anyways. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is questions and preguntas. Thank you guys so very much for participating in Mutt Day Fun Day. Or, uh, yeah, happens every Friday. Go to Facebook.com slash Laughing on the Sidelines uh, and, uh, yeah, and, and Instagram and X, all of those places. And uh, keep your eyes peeled every Friday. But now we get to move on to a very fun part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. All right. 
right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's <laughs> Laughing on the Sidelines draft. We're stupid. Yeah, you we are. are. Dumb. Uh, I like it. <clears throat> but yes, uh, unfortunately, JP won. Because he fucking cheats, man. He says things that people like and shit. It's ridiculous. I know. He doesn't even actually pick things he actually likes. It's just he wants to win the draft. He's like, what's so the best bad. answer? That's yeah. not true. Yeah, totally. That's it totally true. is true. But anyways. It doesn't matter, though. Yeah. I feel very connected to all my draft choices. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, week's draft, I think, is going to be kind of a fun one. It actually was suggested uh, by a listener. I better give him a shout-out. I'm sorry. I forgot. Uh, this comes in from Alex Meland. Or Miland. I'm not sure. Miland. Miland. Yeah, we're going to go with Miland. Alex Miland. Sounds good. Um, Miland. Yeah. Uh, he wanted to know, uh, what are the worst things to do when you are inebriated? Mm. Super fucked up. Who gets to go first? Well, uh, because JP won last time, he has the championship picks. I came in dead last, but Steve's not here, so I get the Eiffel Tower picks. And uh, you get to go first, Mike. So I do. You did get to go first, so let's kick the draft off with what's the worst things to do when you're fucked up? The worst? The worst. Oh, I thought it was the best. Nope. Worst, because you're fucked up all the time, JP. Yeah, uh-oh. These are going to be your just worst life decisions. Okay. Every day life this. decisions. Got, I got it? this. All right, Mike, what is your first overall pick? Um, cry in front of people. Cry in front of people? Okay. All right. I see. I got you. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and kick this bad one off with, uh, if I'm really fucked up, the worst thing for me to do is drive a vehicle. Okay. Yeah. I could kill somebody. No, nah, I'm good at that. Me too. <laughs> me too. I know. I'm not, I'm not good at emotions, Everybody though. thinks they're really good at it. No, until I you, am. Until you wreck. Uh, but anyways, JP, you get two in a row. All right, the first one I'm going to go with is compete in a comedy contest <laughs> <laughs> that you're not prepared for. Yeah. And um, what's your next one? The worst things to do. Oh, the worst thing to do when uh -huh. you get high is go to the grocery store. <laughs> oh, yeah. You spend so much money. Go shopping. Yeah. Like it. That's that's a very good good pick. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go with... Oh, by the way, my point of reference is, is weed and, and alcohol. I yeah. haven't done anything else. Well. So you guys have an advantage. Uh, I'm going to go with um, do your taxes. <laughs> yeah that's probably not a good idea <laughs> okay or maybe it is <laughs> maybe it is i'm getting a bunch of money back <laughs> no shit uh how about you mike you get two in a row uh one of them is going to be uh sorry looking in the mirror on acid oh <laughs> i was gonna take that one and you have to put on acid okay on yeah. that one yeah all right damn it uh, all right and the other one would be um Oh, I'm trying to think to my drunken days. Uh, just that, f f the, I don't know how to describe just that feeling that you know you're going to puke soon. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, but what are you doing but, with but that? But actually puking feels good. Oh, it does. Once you get it out. 100%. But that feeling of like the the spins, let's call it that. But that's that's a that's a side effect of the drunk. Like you got to be doing something oh, when I, this occurs. It has to be an activity. Yeah. Right? Uh trying to lay down and and have, have your mind be still just laying down <laughs> laying drunk down, is, laying down super drunk is is a good one because everybody knows that when you're laying in bed and you're super fucked up and you you just feel the whole bed yeah. spinning oh, around yeah. and oh you know God. how to combat that you put have a foot on the floor. put a foot on the floor yeah that's how you fix that no yeah, and not then for you me. end up on the floor. <laughs> exactly, and then it doesn't matter. And then it doesn't matter. It is. It's weird the decisions that you make when you're drunk, though, because there are there's a oh, part yeah. of my brain that says I, getting off of this bed and laying on the floor is a smart idea. Oh, right yeah. now. all of mine are things you do when you're drunk. Uh, I'm gonna go with go to work. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> no, go um, to your job. If I didn't do my job, <laughs> if I didn't do my job high, I wouldn't do my job. Yeah, I know you'd probably get pissed at everybody. Oh, I'd be done. Uh, JP, what do you got? Two in a row. Drag queen. Drag queen. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's one of the worst things I've ever done drunk in my life <laughs> is fuck a drag queen. Oh, fuck a drag yeah, queen. Yeah, yeah. Not, not dress in drag. No, fuck a drag fuck queen. Fuck a drag queen. Yeah. Got it. Not was it good. the same dude whose shoes stunk? No. <laughs> no. No, She's this one smelled d- delicious, apparently. Well, yeah, I don't know. I like, don't really remember. Like sun ripened raspberry. Yeah, I'm not real. Ri- I'm not real. Ri- <laughs> From Bed Bath smelled, and Beyond. Smelled mostly like Yukon Jack, actually. <laughs> okay. And then uh, you get one more. Worst things to do when you're fucked up. Yeah. Pallet surfing. Pallet surfing? Yeah. What's that? Where you tie a wooden pallet behind somebody's truck and oh. fucking drive around the parking lot. Okay. Uh, and Man. there's like six people on the pallet. And yeah. whoever's the last one on the pallet wins. Okay. All wins. right. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody loses. but <laughs> Except for the driver. Except for the driver. Yeah. And even they sometimes lose. Okay. Uh, Everybody is really guilty of this. And that is whenever you're really drunk, really oh, high. That's a good one. Shop on Amazon. That's a good one. You're gonna if wake I had up, any money, it's that like, would be a problem for me. It, oh. it, it feels like Christmas sometimes, though. Oh, you're yeah. Like, my my order has been delivered. What? What? Dude. Yeah. Speaking what of, did I buy? Speaking of bad online shopping, there is a place called nuts.com. <laughs> what? Dude, it's like the best. Dude, you just got to go on there and check it out. I'm scared. Go. It's like tell me more first. <laughs> it's it's basically like the nifty nut house, but an oh, online okay. but an oh, online right. version. Dude, so <laughs> many they have nuts, so much stuff. Like it's candy and stuff too. All right, but oh, it's crazy. I spent 180 dollars. Mike, why wow. do I think this I is a setup for us to no, go to not. some website to just have right, a whole bunch I know. of we're gonna nuts in our face on some FBI list? <laughs> no, whatever you do, whatever you do, don't type blacknuts.com <laughs> because that's a different that deal. Is what we're talking about, right? Mike, you get your last two in a row. What do you got? Oh, yeah. We were doing this. Mm-hmm. Um, t- try to talk to the girl you like. Yeah, that's a good one. Hit on a girl. You uh, are probably not going to succeed. Okay? And, and this isn't as true now, but it's enough that I, I have enough memories of it. Try to talk to my parents. Oh, yeah. I remember, dude, okay, I'm sorry that I... You just don't like talking to people in general. I don't, like. but no, I just, not at the at the wrong time, because yeah. I, I like to not say dumb things, but I always do. But I remember I was watching, uh, uh, I was my room was in the basement. My mom was watching Matlock or something, and I was downstairs smoking weed, and I came up, and I was just super baked. She had to know that I was just baked all the time, but <laughs> she never said anything about it, yeah. but I'm sure I reeked my eyes were red and shit and uh she was like hey we're gonna go we had to do something i don't remember what and i didn't have shoes on she was like go put your shoes on and let's get ready to go and i was like okay and i got up and i went downstairs shoes completely slipped my mind i did whatever for five (laughs) or ten minutes and i came back upstairs and just sat in the recliner and continued watching matlock (laughs) and my mom stared at me for it had to have been a minute or two before she was like where's your fucking shoes like what are you doing and i the face that i made of just like oh yeah (laughs) like i just remember the ultimate pothead laugh she was just like yeah man what an idiot my son is (laughs) Uh, I, this last pick, I, I have actually done this before and uh, there's a story that comes with it, but get really, really fucking drunk and decide I'm going to go for a run. I'm going to go and work out. Okay. I legitimately did this. I ran like a mile and a half, came back and I had to shit myself so badly that we had one bathroom with all with three dudes one bathroom and one guy was in there taking a shower so i had the door that goes into the bathroom i peek my head in there i go hey matt i have to shit it is an emergency can i please come in here and shit he goes yeah sure whatever so i came in <laughs> turd torpedo holy fuck you lived it up you should have right? <laughs> You'd have been in and out. Oh, no. It was, you would have never even known you were in there. <laughs> it was so bad. No. It was so disgusting that I just, I let it go, and, and I even tried to do like a courtesy flush, and all of a sudden you just hear him in the shower go, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> So, so yeah, wow. when that, you're really fucked up, don't try and work out. That's a bad combo. Shower, steam, and <laughs> shit smell. 
It always every time I fart in the steamy shower, oh. it reminds me of uh, on like Microsoft Paint or yeah. even on the there was a game called Mario Paint. Whatever oh, that yeah, Mario whatever Paint. that tool oh, is that. where you click on an open area and it immediately fills it with yes. color. Yes. color yeah. That's what that's how farts are with <laughs> steam. steam. The moment the fart comes out, it touches every molecule. Yep. Anyway. Matt, Matt Lawless, wherever you are, buddy, hope you're doing well. Thank you for <laughs> for giving for me letting that me story. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. All right, JP, what is your last pick? Uh, one of the worst things I've ever done drunk is fuck a woman, get naked, blow up a rubber glove, put it on my head, <laughs> run around the neighborhood yelling, "I'm a squid! I'm a squid!" <laughs> Twice around the block. Have you actually done that? I have. Oh, good for you. I love you. Oh, God. Anyways. That was in high school. That was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, that great. was back in the 60s or something. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Early, late 50s. Nice. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. You can go to Facebook.com slash Laughing on the Sidelines and vote. You can also go to X, which is at L-O-T Sidelines. For, for the love of God, just vote for Mike this time or me. Just don't let JP win again. That's- I can't believe I'm only 47. Yeah, you're only 47. <laughs> I, I think that you should pick whoever you think gave the best answers. I have a lot of good answers. I do, too, I have a because lot of good then I'll win. Yeah. I, 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 <laughs> but anyways, uh, now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines. I didn't. Shut up. Laughing on the Sidelines, shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sideline shitty situation brought to you by J.P. And Mike Baldwin. <laughs> Fine, you're going to do that to him, whatever. Uh, but yes, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, we have, uh, uh, before we get to the shitty situation, it's, it's brought to you by the comedy show that has already happened as you are listening. And I just want to give a shout out to JP for winning the comedy contest. And I just want to take a second and say, hey, man, sorry about that comedy contest. <laughs> yeah, no shit, JP. That, that was rough. It so, was rough. So sorry. <laughs> But well, I, know you, I know you weren't there, but you already heard it was that bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, yeah. Scotty's going to text me later and right. tell me exactly how. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm going to. Very well. I sure will. Uh, but anyways, this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation is would you rather only have underwear that has a hole in your butt or a hole where your dick goes in the front? Hmm. Oh, so, yeah. I'll, I'll take the butthole. <laughs> yeah. Quick, quick exit. No, I wouldn't use it for anything. That's, <laughs> but if there was a, a hole where my dick is, my dick would pop out. <laughs> yeah. See, here's the problem with the butthole one, because if you walk, if it's chilly outside and you walk into a stiff breeze or something, you're going to feel that. <laughs> yeah. It's going to feel I, weird. I would accept that more so than having okay. my, my dick rub out. on yeah. my mm. on my jeans yeah, zipper or that's whatever. That's true. Plus, I don't walk around in my underwear out uh, with people that often, so it wouldn't yeah. be a matter of anyone seeing anything. That's true. The hole yeah. in the butt, if anything, I, I it would help me s- scratch my ass easier. <laughs> there you go. If yeah. I really needed to get in there, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. for Sometimes sure. Sometimes you do. No, I, I'm definitely going with the hole in the butt. Definitely. It's unanimous. I mean, seriously, if you fucking have to shit, you don't even have to pull down your underwear. I wouldn't well, trust that should. at all. Yeah, you'd yeah. get shit all over you. <laughs> right. No, it's, I wouldn't trust that. I just but. pre-lube the hole in my underwear <laughs> and then uh-huh. I have no problems. Yeah, it's like a call. jock strap. Yeah. No, I mean, the only the worst part about that would be if you had a girlfriend that was like helping you fold your laundry or whatever. Because <laughs> why first, do all your underwear have holes in the, the first butt? pair? She would be like, hmm, "I'm not gonna say anything. Like it's probably an old pair." But the se- she would pipe up on the second pair. Do you know that you have two pairs and of underwear the that have third or fourth? Yeah. She's concerned. She'd be like, "Why do you do this?" And you're like, "I don't do it. I lost a would you rather. I have to do this. I have to." Oh, uh, shit. So it is a clean sweep. Hole in the ass. Obviously, I'm going with the hole in the ass because it saves me time. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I don't like that, though, either. I wouldn't want a girl that had crotchless. P- I wouldn't. Oh, no. Like, all the time. No. I'd be like, why? No. Stay when- ready. That's my motto. <laughs> no. I do not. No, I don't want that. I don't no, want that. No underwear on a chick is is hot, though. Perfect. In my opinion. Excellent. Yep. 
I agree. That's a good thing to end the show. That on. is a good thing. Take, take your underwear off, show. ladies. Makes their jeans smell funny. Yes. That's okay. um, it, it, it could if they're gross. Yeah. yeah. But I do want to give a thank you to all of those of you who actually came to the comedy show. We sincerely do appreciate it. Was it was great to meet you guys. It was great the to guys meet you. The came up to me were, man, they were, oh, yeah. they I were need, awesome. I need to say hi to the dude whose name I forgot that came to see me at the show in Wisconsin. Oh, yeah. And he told me to tell you to fuck off or oh, eat a dick or that, whatever. I forget exactly lines. what he said. But appreciate it. He's yeah. definitely a listener of the show then. Yeah, he really he is. He was. Well, now I think he was more of a fan of Steve than me, but I think Steve said that he was going with me to that gig. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's and he, right. And then he pissed out at the last yeah. minute. <laughs> oh. Steve apologized. He was like, how, how long of a drive is that again? And I was like, damn it, dude. I, if you're asking that, I know that you're about to be like, I can't. Yeah. But anyways, uh, thank you guys so very much for doing what you do. Uh, keep doing uh, or to keep sharing the the TikToks, the Instagrams, all of that stuff. It helps us uh, grow the show. Uh, and uh, since we're not really being paid to do on the YouTube channel, this uh, a like, a comment, anything like that will help the channel grow to maybe <laughs> allow us to go on a different platform or something. But anyways, as we always like to say, guys, oh, no, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Mike Baldwin and Mr. Jason P., <laughs> do you not want me to say I, I, think every, I think everybody knows it's Jason Peterson JP uh, but as we always like to say guys do us a favor if you like us tell your friends and if you don't like us we hope you have swamp ass so bad that you can't sit on a toilet <laughs> <laughs> without sliding off <laughs> if you don't like us tell your enemies and until next time guys Central Standard Brewing Company home of champion <laughs> JP <laughs> until next time keep laughing assholes we will see you later take care